This accelerator brings together sales, production, procurement, inventory and logistics into a real-time, unified, collaborative one-stop shop decision center for your supply chain. In this demonstration, I work for a company called Velocity. At Velocity, we produce bikes and distribute them internationally to our customers. The production of our bikes requires materials and equipment that we purchase from suppliers located in several different countries. As soon as I open Supply Intelligence, I benefit from an overview of my supply chain on two different complementary perspectives. First, from a sales perspective, how are we impacted by product shortages? Then, from a supply chain resilience perspective. This resilience is measured along five pillars. Supply versus demand reliability, are we able to meet customer demand? Inflation impact, how are we exposed to price increases? Logistics reliability, are we able to deliver our customers on time, in full? Quality reliability, do we face a lot of returns because of defective products? And finally, inventory availability, do we have enough stock to meet upcoming demand? And just below I have a similar assessment. But not for me as a seller, for me, as a customer who buys materials from suppliers. The first thing that strikes me here is that we are heavily impacted by product shortages, and that the situation is even worse than last month. I really need to get a clear picture of the situation, so I deep dive to the subject. On this page, at a glance, I understand the situation. At the top, my most important indicators, impact of shortages, total sales volume and percentage of lost sales. Just below the same indicators split by product category with the current month results, but also with a perspective on the last 12 months to understand the overall trend. As you see here, the situation is particularly worrying about the product e-bike 7, which alone accounts for nearly 20% of total shortages. So the question that I have now is this one. Is this a problem that has already been taken care of, or not? The best way to answer this question is to go and see the current and forecasted stock levels for this product. This page is amazing to assess the availability of my products. On the left, I can see our current inventory as of today, and on the right, a forecast of my positions for the coming three weeks. Regarding e-bike 7, not only do I realize that we are currently out of stock, but the situation is even getting worse in the coming days. On top of this, I even have open orders for which I cannot supply important customers. So that's why, to understand the situation for this product and find a solution, I deep dive to e-bike 7. On this page, I have access to all the information that I need to know on e-bike 7 to assess the situation and find a solution. At the top left here, an evaluation of the resilient scores for e-bike 7. Underneath, pricing information, how many units do I currently have in stock and some recommendations on how to optimize stock coverage. In the middle here, which customers ordered e-bike 7 and how we were able to serve them. Then, where do we have to ship the goods to and what will arrive next? As I can see here, the evaluation of the resilience of my product is very low, which I knew already, and I would like to understand how long this situation has lasted. And when I look at it, I can actually see that the situation has been complicated since the beginning of the year, but it recently became critical because our level of stock reached a critical threshold. Let's now see what happens with the materials used for this product, and maybe we will find some elements of explanation. The first thing that stands out here is that we are severely hit by inflation for the materials that we use to produce e-bike 7. But even more important short term is that one of our key material, battery pack, has a very low level of resilience and is actually currently out of stock. Let's deep dive to battery pack to assess what's happening. The detail page for the material is similar to the product page, but instead of seeing the customers, I can see the suppliers for my material. Here, I can see that I am facing an important failure of my main supplier. I have two other small suppliers who have been able to meet my demand but with real quality problems. So let's have a look at my panel of other suppliers and see if I can find someone who can help me in the short term. What I can see here is that I have one of my suppliers called Power Bikes, which seems to be a very good candidate. 
they have always been able to meet my demand, but even more interesting, they have very good pricing conditions. So I will deep dive to a power bikes to see if the first good impression is confirmed. It seems indeed that they are very well rated across my different pillars. And when I look at the evolution of those ratings over time, it seems that their level of service did not decrease since the pandemic started. And finally, when I look at their overall performance across material categories and materials, it seems that they usually do better than competition, which is shown here with the blue line. So that's enough for me. I will contact them to have a quotation for 100 units of battery pack, and they've already been receiving a notification in Slack and hopefully, we will be able to find a solution with them. So let's recap the value that is delivered with supply intelligence. First, you provide three main data sets, product sales, material purchases, and inventory positions. Based on those, supply intelligence will deliver more than 80 KPIs to help you precisely manage your supply chain. But, supply intelligence also provides a consolidated view of those KPIs along five strategic pillars. Supply versus demand reliability, inflation impact, logistics reliability, quality reliability and inventory availability. Those strategic pillars being themselves consolidated into a product resilience score, a material resilience score and supplier resilience score. For each pillar, supply intelligence will deliver precious business insights and drive the desired business outcomes. Minimize product shortages, improve customer service, reduce supply disruptions, optimize procurement strategy, and enhance inventory management. Use this accelerator as a starting point and customize it to meet your specific needs. To learn more, visit us online.